Good morning. Right. <laughs> uh, my name is Jim uh, from the dirtdad.com and this is COVID social distancing homeschool day one. So who am I? Uh, I'm a dad. Uh, I've got a 10 year old and a four year old. So a fourth grader and a preschooler. Um, and I've also been a teacher now for 18 years, um, currently teaching sixth grade um, at a little school here in, um, in Colorado where we live. How are we going to do this? How are we going to balance uh, doing our own work? I'm going to be teaching my sixth graders at the same time as I'm trying to homeschool a fourth grader and a preschooler. I don't know. There's no manual for this, right? So. Um, what I did is I'm going to start recording our days. Um, I imagine some of them will be really sweet and fun. Some of them will probably be a total jug show. Um, maybe you, hopefully you'll pick up some good tips. Uh, we can share some information back and forth and figure this thing out together. Um, so enjoy the show. Evie's going to run morning meetings for us. <laughs> right now you said you would take a hug and shake your hand. When I just poop. Oh jeez. Uh. I'm waiting for my baby. Say good morning. Say good morning. I'll take a high five. Thank you. Good morning, Evie. Would you like a hug, handshake, high five? <laughs> morning meeting with chickens. Good morning, Evie. Would you like a hug, handshake, high five? You get points, you get badges, you get all sorts of fun, cool things. Okay. Neat, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, off to a good start. With the kids working, I am going to eat breakfast. What's that? The puppy wants to give me the thing too. Is it the who? The worm. Okay. On the ceiling. Huh? No worms on the ceiling. Ceiling? Look at them all. Look inside. Uh -huh. Let's see how they're doing. This is our. This is four, right? This is the first place we put food in. Oh, look at them all. Oh. Look at them all in there. They're so happy. Why are they happy? Because they got so much yummy food to eat. Look at all those great worms. You want to pick one up? No. I think it's time to bury more food. Yeah. What do the worms do? What do we know about the worms so far? That they eat birthday cake. <laughs> Onions. Onions. What else? If we had a, a smushy pancake, we could give it to them. Yeah. Okay. Should we feed the worms? Yeah. 
All right, I'm just gonna jump in here for a second. Um, while we were looking at the worm bin, we took uh, the frozen food out of the freezer um, and I kind of kicked the freezer door closed. Um, unbeknownst to me, um, little Katie's fingers were sitting on there and they got, they got sucked underneath this latch um, and uh, it, it gave her a little avulsion on the top of her finger, poor thing. Um, there was a lot of screaming, a lot of crying. Um, she's fine. Thankfully, um, Anne was in really good spirits by the time my wife came home, um, but that was kind of the that was the, the the bummer bummer part of the day there for about a half an hour um, while we we treated that wound. But as you can see in the next clip, um, she's got a good story to tell, and um, she's okay. Poor Katie got her finger stuck in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we were just looking for for the food, and then you found it, and then, and then my finger was on the, the freezer, the one you shot it. Yeah, there was and, a little thing on the side that got her finger. Mm. They're starting to move over towards section five where all this food is. Go ahead and bury that down. We'll take section six, which I don't really see many worms in here. No. Nice frozen food for you, wormies. Here. Worms tear it in half. Looks like maybe that was yours, I'm not sure. Okay. Maybe it's half buried. Maybe it's half buried. I think it might be a good day to add maybe a little a more bedding too. Yeah, there was. On. Remember when there was like an overflow of worms? Yeah. Hey, V, don't squeeze this finger. Yeah, let's make sure we take care of that finger today. Should we get a band aid? We don't have any more. You don't have any band aids? No. Oh, I bet we do. Maybe it's not in the bathroom. Okay, that's it. You can. There's a lot of. Dad, I got a bolero. All right. Let's bring two more out. Okay. Because we're gonna teach you how to shoot. All right. story of the day, isn't it? The ouchie finger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting heavy. Is she? Yeah. Okay, so one thing we've never done, we've done a lot of learning about, but haven't really done anything very integrated as far as design goes is uh, some permaculture design with our yard, our front yard and our backyard. We've done some experiments, mostly before kids. Uh, the last 10 years have been um, figuring out how to be parents. And during this time, we're gonna grab the kids and we're gonna get them involved in, in the design. So Evie, what do you got here? Uh, this is our deck. I kind of tried to sketch that area. Okay. Um, garden, 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 pond, shed, chicken coop, ducks. I want ducks. Nice. I want two goats or one goat. <laughs> I want goats. Um, this is kind of um, a fun idea I was thinking of um, okay. for a secret hideout. Tell me about your story. Um, this is, I don't know if you saw the cover to my book, but um, it was called Soren's Quest, I think. No, yeah. Um, and so I'm writing the book that goes on to that. Cool. So it's a really sunny day, and me and Evie are playing in our backyard. Yes. Evie's doing a little reader's workshop. You're almost done with that book.
All right, girls, so it's noon, lunchtime. A little social check-in time here. I think we've adopted Spot as our official uh, homeschool dog, right? He's our mascot um, for this adventure I here. Dog. Spots are farm dog. So it's a beautiful day out now. The sun's come out. Uh, this is our opportunity now. We've done a lot of um, we did a lot of academics this morning, right? We did math, writing, reading, did a little bit of design with Evie's awesome backyard design. Um, and now we're gonna move into what are we gonna do? Uh, popsicle. Oh, yeah. we're gonna have a popsicle. Little Pookie, it's 5.32. Well, okay, it's your day. Happy birthday to you. Okay, a quick outro for you. Um, so right after nap time, uh, my battery uh, went out. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I'm sitting here on my iPhone recording these for you. Um, what did you miss? Katie napped. Uh, my wife came home from work. Um, Evie and I whittled for a while. She made a bunch of spears. It was really fun. Um, day one went okay. Um, aside from the, the, the wound um, from the freezer, um, things were pretty good. We got, we got math in. Um, a little bit of writing, a lot of reading, um, and some projects together outside, which was really fun. Um, one of the things I think that was really hard was being the teacher for my kids. I'm used to, um, I'm sure your kids can relate to this, like when your teacher says, this is what we're going to do today, the kids are like, okay, that's what we're going to do. And you know, they may grumble about it, but they do it uh, when it's your own kid. Um, I got some whining, right? Like, okay, we're all gonna go outside. They're like, I don't wanna go outside. I wanna keep reading my book. Or, um, there you get that pushback as a parent. And um, that was tough. And so we had to have some conversations around like, okay, you know, I'm dad, but I'm also a teacher. And you know, when we have these things set up, um, we gotta just kind of roll with them, right? Just like you would in the classroom. So I think it's, a, it's something we're all gonna have to adjust to. Um, and then um, we had a lovely day, you know, sort of school ended. Uh, my wife came home. We had a great time outside together as a family, had dinner, put the kids to bed. And then I just went, it's about 1130 right now. I then went to work and did my job as a teacher. So um, for the last hour, um, I went into the, into the school and got my kids, my, my school kids, my students, uh, set up for the distance learning that's going to be happening um, potentially for how long? We don't know. Um, and it's now about 11.30, back home. I'm gonna have myself a beer. I'm gonna go to bed. Tomorrow, day two, we'll catch up with you then. Cheers, we're all in this together. You got this, you can do this parents. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow. Ah, that's good. All right, have a good night, y'all. See you tomorrow.